Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and it's uh, new pro product time and uh, in this case it's the new Acuta Voyager Mac 80 telescope and so it's an 80mm Mac Tutsov as you can see and because of the compact design of the, this uh, lens assembly it, it's actually for such a compact tube it's 800mm f10 focal length so that makes it ideal for looking at the moon and uh, double stars in particular and the brighter planets but also because it has a erect image and left right orientation correct image uh, you can also use it for longer distance to uh, terrestrial use but uh, be aware that it's quite a, an exposed lens element at the front there and so you, you may want to invest in uh, a bit of a, a dust cover that you can put on it uh, other than that it, um, very handy to have a, a dust blower with you but for astronomy it's a, a cracking little scope and um, it comes with a phase coated erect image prism diagonal and very good quality and uh, you get a couple of eyepieces with it that give 40 times and 80 times magnification which are 10 and 20 millimeters in focal length. Um, I had a quick look at the eyepieces and it looks like they are doublets um, whether they're plossal or another design I'll, I'll let you know in, in the comments below if I, I get to find anything uh, any more information on them but by all means if you know uh, add your own comments and the first thing I, I noticed when I looked through them, in particular the 40 times, is the lack of chromatic aberration. I could hardly detect any, even on the edge of the field of view, and uh, that, that is a big tick, especially if you're looking at the moon and you, you don't want that purple or green um, outline to the um, lunar limb when you look through it. There is a little bit of pincushion distortion, especially with the higher magnification eyepiece but the good news is you, you can fix uh, fit any other 1.25 inch eyepieces should you want to upgrade and um, on the subject of eyepieces it comes with a smartphone adapter and this is it here and all you do is you get the eyepiece that's the 10 millimeter place it inside, screw that into position and then you can place your smartphone underneath these straps here, put it on your, your telescope and take some photographs. And I, I would say that for best results use the lower power eyepiece and um, why, while on the subject of eyepieces you, you'll notice that the little 8x21 finder scope there and it also gives an upright image and a plus side of this particular one the well the fitting is that it ac accepts most other red dot finders or the Skywatcher 6x30 or 9x50 finder scopes if you wanted to go upgrade but this little finder scope here I am very impressed with it for, for an eight for a little 21 millimeter lens it, it gives an incredible image you know well up there with your, your 30 to 40 pound monoculars and you focus it at the front there and it, it is long eye relief as are the eyepieces but what I found with this finder what you can do if you're out and about take it off hold it like that and that is a cracking little monocular for when you're out and about so if you're not using the main telescope take the finder scope off and use it like it's a monocular it's a optical tube assembly only so you will have to fit a, a tripod uh, add a tripod um, sturdier the better I would say it's threaded for to accept um, it, uh, it's threaded to go on to standard tripods but also it's got a dovetail to connect it to a um, an, an EQ mount and, and it is quite a short dovetail so be aware of that but I don't know if you can quite see on the image that just there's three little grooves there for so if you have a an EQ mount with just one clamping bolt it goes inside those and uh, makes for a really secure fit to stop the um, 
telescope sliding up and down the um, the uh, tri the EQ tripod and uh, I thought what a simple thing to do and why hasn't everybody else thought about that and so all the things you get with it a very nice presentation box there and also a carry case with uh, a couple of internal compartments, a carry handle and a sh shoulder strap. So all in all, a very nice little starter telescope dash spotting scope, perfect for longer distance terrestrial use, but on the subject of terrestrial, I found that it also focuses down to about five meters so you can use it quite quite easily for to look at wildlife in the back garden but be aware that th there's your focuser by the way which focuses not by moving the diagonal in and out it, it moves the internal mirror up and down so you will need quite a lot of turns to get that down to close focus but but it can be used for that so there you are that's the Acuter Voyager Mac 80 as in Mac suit soft design and 80 millimeter lens uh, telescope dash spotting scope nice little starter uh, package for under a couple hundred pounds well well under 200 pounds and um, yeah all, all you need to add is a tripod and uh, probably a dust blower to keep the dust off the lens because like I say it is quite exposed uh, that's that pretty much sums it up. Oh, and it's uh, fully multi coated optics as well uh, on, on the OTA. So, thank you very much for watching, as always. And please check out the links in the description below.